The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart of the FTSE and the DAX like we always do. They've also had a correction. The FTSE much greater than the DAX. The DAX, you can see, uh, held relatively well. Uh, several people have asked me, is this the end of the world? Uh, possibly, but not today. Uh, we're just having a big correction, folks. I mean, the market's actually shrugging it off, given the fact that the news is so uh, crazy. You know, you've got to be able to realize that, boy, there's a lot of weird things going out there. On the second point, yesterday I spoke about uh, <clears throat> Vladimir Putin and the fact that, you know, I, I, I looked at his military strategy and the fact he was the KGB. He was well trained to do what he was doing. And I was just referring that the same way that our boys at West Point and the Naval Academy and the Coast Guard and the Air Force all are done the same way. He's a military man. He has a strategy going. So, you know, when you're negotiating with him, if you remember earlier this week or early last week, they said when you were dealing with uh, Vladimir Putin, you were dealing with Don Corleone. So uh, you know, that's all I was referring to. I'm not a big fan of his. I'm not a big fan of Russia. I'm a good old USA boy uh, to the very end, even if I have to go back to to, well, I've never been in the service, but uh, please don't think that anything other than that, that's all I was doing was trying to tell you that, you know, he's a pretty smart dude. He might be ruthless, but he's pretty smart. Okay, now let's get on to, I'm not going to talk about politics ever again and none of the other stuff either because I don't want to offend anyone. And if I did, I apologize for it, but uh, that's the way it is. All right, we talked about the DAX and we talked about the um, uh, the go uh, the FTSE. Now let's take a look at what we were doing here last night. Hold on, boy! I tell you, how do these charts disappear on me? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, I've got it here somewhere. For heaven's sakes, where is it? I, I put the right one up, and there it is, right here. Here's the one I want to talk about. This is the one that I sent out last night, just as it was happening. Um, this was the gold. Remember, we talked about the breakout going to 978. The high last night, folks, was 977. And right now we're trading $50 lower. If we get another $30 lower, we're going to take out the low at 1900 And that is going to be a pretty negative uh, pattern if, fact, if, in fact, it does that. And, uh, you know, this is a very emotional time. But that's nothing more than a big A, B, C, D pattern up there at 978. And it's exactly the 78% level. And so that's what you're looking at it. Now, we're having incredible moves, folks, in the stock, in the uh, grain markets. Corn was limited up, wheat was limited up, and beans were almost uh, a limit up. But they've come off a dollar a bushel, folks, uh, from the high. The high was 1760 in beans last night, and they're trading at a dollar lower at 1670. So that's a big move that's happening uh, in that one now. We don't know what's going to happen next. You've got to remember, let me put the wheat up just to show you what it, was like, what it was like this morning, how crazy it is. There's the wheat chart on the 15 minute. You can see all night it was limit bid. And then when it opened, it dropped about uh, 25 cents down to 19.10. And it's been limit bid ever since that time. We went right back to limit up. And so that's a, a that's a very, very important thing because we, some of the wheat comes from the Ukraine, and that's why, you know, you've got to be able to uh, realize that what's happening. Let me let me show you here. Yeah, and I miss this puppy, folks. I am not uh, I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not saying that I did or anything. But I'll tell you my best trade, my best trade this week was for the group. As I said, I sold wheat at 8.47 with a stop at 8.52. I mean, that's a five cent stop. And as you can see, since that time, it's rallied a do almost a dollar a bushel. And uh, the only thing that's gonna hold it up here is that 1.618 expansion at 9.74. That would be up another limit tomorrow. 
So we're seeing some this. What this means, folks, is we're we're looking at higher food prices straight out down the line. I mean, one after another. I mean, there's a, there's nothing you can uh, say that uh, that's what we're going to be watching. So you got to be be prepared for it, and we certainly are. We're going to be watching these pullbacks. We've got the planning planning starting here pretty soon, and if we have a bad crop. Oh, heaven forbid what these prices will do. I mean, hundred dollar oil will look like cheap compared to what will go will happen with the uh, with the prices of uh, food that we have. So that's uh, something that we got to start thinking about because it's really crazy. Uh, and also, you know, you know, maybe something weird is going to happen. We don't know. I mean, you know, just because I mean, I would I would have thought the Dow would be down more than thirteen hundred points today. All I figured was nine. The 90 was the biggest drop ever, 900 points. You multiply that times 1.618, and it gets you out to you know 1,500. So I thought there was a possibility. Now, the most of the Dow was down overnight was 900 points, and it's rallied back a little bit from that level. In fact, several hundred points. So the question is, uh, oh, the standard, you know, I never even looked at it. Uh, I believe it was, uh, yeah, yeah, I did look at it. It was, it's, the low was 40. One even, and I think the the uh, standard deviation is forty. It was forty sixty five is what I thought it was, but uh, we didn't uh, we didn't get there. So we'll we'll see at least today. I mean, it's still early, but anything can happen the way things are going. But they actually, markets are holding it rel relatively well together. Actually, I'm surprised. Now let's. I've had several people, you know, to ask me about the situation that Peter Leidy's talked about, and also we had talked about it before here. This was where, where we were in 1987. Uh, there's a slight difference here that we're looking at right now, but this was where we were in 1987. The 35 days came in on that October the 2nd, as you can see, and then Friday the 19th, and the 55 days came in on October the 20th. Well, we're out into the uh, 42nd day, I believe now, and the way this is supposed to be set up, and I'll, I'll bring it up here so that uh, you'll be able to see it easily here. And uh, ah, there's the one I want to get to. Hold on a second here. Is this the one? Uh, nope, that's the other one. Hold on. I want to. I'm doing both of these, and I want to make sure I get the right one. And this is not the right one. Yes, this is the right one. Hold on. Here is the one from the uh, 1921, 1929. You'll notice here that uh, the full moon second. We've had the big break. You see that? You see that big break that's coming in there at just about uh, two days past the full moon. So that's that's where we are right now, folks. We're halfway through this thing, and the 55th, 56 calendar days comes out to March the fourth. Now, I don't know where the market's going to be on March the 4th, but nobody does either. The thing we have to remind ourselves is that uh, this market has now turned bearish. Something has happened, folks. They've changed the continuity of thought and economics because with him going in there uh, with the army, I mean, that, 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 that upsets everything in the world, not just in Europe, but everything. And the next thing to go will be if China comes in and takes over Taiwan again. That, that'll be an exciting one, let me tell you. <laughs> so let's remind ourselves that uh, we live in interesting times, which is the Chinese Kurtz. By the way, our guest today, hopefully, will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. But as you know, these market conditions are so crazy, we'll have to wait and see. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the silver that was going on uh, last night, and then what I'll do is I'll update, I'll update it uh, today so you can see the fact that we uh, did go up to that ABCD pattern up there, and, you know, that's uh, these ABCDs are everywhere, boys and girls, so you really need to, uh, really need to pay uh, really close attention to them. So I, I bring it to your attention because it's that important to me. We'll be covering that when we do the full-day trading system uh, trading day sometime, I would be the 15th or 16th of March. I'm planning on doing one of those. It will most probably be my last one for the year. So hopefully everybody will get a chance to come in and uh, we'll do some things. Now, yesterday, what things were going on here, I wanted to show you from the high uh, down to the low where we were. You'll see that the rally back that we had uh, in the uh, NASDAQ yesterday was right there at that level of uh, 382, as you can see there at 13,860. I put in the shh to keep it secret, but you know the secret's out. The good part of it is, folks, most people are not going to follow it, so you're safe. You know that's really all. If you if you looked at some of the things today that we were watching in beans, and a few other things, you could see the 382 worked spectacularly well. Even when a market was going crazy, it followed beautifully. Now I wanted to bring this other. You better keep a you better keep a list of this, folks, because this is the rules that they have for limit moves and, and moves that are going on in the market. And you'll notice here that, oh, and only part of it came out. You can see that the, the, uh, the, if futures drop 7%, 13%, or 20%, you know, that's where it is. 7%, do you, do you realize how, how, how nasty that would be if there was a 7% uh, you know, drop in the, uh, in the Dow Jones? You know, 7% of that would be well over... Uh, 2,000 points in a Dow. Now, you think that can't happen. you got to remember, it's happened before. And, you know, history says that if you don't study it, you're probably going to repeat it. So that may or may not happen. But the first one is a 7 and then 12, a 7 and then 10 and then 16%, I believe, is what the cutoffs are. 
and uh, then it then it halts trading uh, for a while. Now in, in 87, let's get to 87 up because I uh, I talked I, I talked about that before. Uh, I put the chart up so you'll remember to see. I'm just you know maybe this probably stuff is not going to happen, but we want to pay a little close attention to it. You notice here that we hit that level here on Friday, uh, October the uh, the uh, 16th, and then the, in the one day that we had. You know, we dropped down, uh, you know, 16% in the Dow in one day, which was the best buying opportunity of that that decade, the whole decade. And that was a 61% retracement of the August 9th high of 1982. Now, we haven't had a really big correction. This is not a big correction, folks. This is nothing like what we had in COVID. I mean, it's not even close. So what we're watching now is to see if it does become that, and then we'll have something to say, yeah, that's a possibility. Now, given the chart that, that Peter sent out and looking at the 1929 chart, you basically it is not that the two worst days should be coming on Thursday, Friday, and Monday. These are the, supposed to be the really bad days, and that would get us down to a pretty good bounce and then a move back down into uh, the 4th of March, which is going to be a monster buying opportunity, folks. We're going to have a rally coming from that level that is going to just scare the bejeebies out of people. So uh, we really want to be prepared for that because that's the main thing. Look at this, folks. People don't realize this. Uh, I'll, I'll, after the market crashed in 1929 on the on the uh, crashed on the 29th of October. The bottom wasn't until November the 11th. And for November the 11th to April the 1st, the market rallied just shy of 61%. It was like 59.6%. It topped on April the 1st. And then from April the 1st, 1930, it went down for two solid years and gave up 90% of its value. The Dow had been at 386. It went to around 40, 41, 42, 43. I don't know what it was. That was uh, July the, the 5th or the 8th. I, I can never remember. It was July 5th, I believe. Uh, Basil will let me know here in a minute that it was July the 8th. But one of those two days is where it bottomed. And then from 42, it went to where we were the last time, which was just shy of 40,000. So that's where... Uh, you know, that's where these numbers are coming from, and that's what we're looking at as we look at these numbers. So uh, a couple other things that are important. We've covered the silver. We covered the gold. Now let's cover the crude oil because crude oil, uh, this is what I was looking at last night as a potential here. And you'll see here I, I underestimated what it would do. I thought it would get to 98, okay? It actually got to a 100.56. So from 100.56, it's broken down to 97. We've dropped $8 a barrel, folks, in a matter of hours. Now, you would think that, well, maybe that's not the way things should be, but that's what's happening. You know, we're seeing some really wild volatility on both sections of this, and that's why it's a, what's why it's an important thing to pay very, very close attention to. That's all I can tell you. I hope that helps, and we'll see how it's going now. We got gold down is now $55 lower. And uh, we'll see how this, the bonds, I, if you remember, I said sell the bonds. <laughs> and uh, at 94.16, they got to 94.25. They're now trading two handles lower at uh, 52 and change. So uh, we're, we're really having some swings in, in these markets, which is, uh, is really, really uh, good for us because we get to see some really incredible volatility. And that's what... Uh, that's what we're looking at as we look at some of these uh, these patterns today. Uh, we'll get over to one other I wanted to cover here. We've covered that. Let's cover the euro and that we could do the dollar index for folks because here was the same thing. Now I haven't updated the I haven't updated the the, uh, the forex charts because I've been rather busy this morning. And uh, hold on, you can see here the dollar index. We were looking for the dollar index to get up to about 96.76. Could someone tell me if the dollar index stopped in that area? My guess is yes, because of the fact that what happened to gold at that same time. Could someone give me the high in the dollar index? Uh, I was looking around 96.76, 96.80 is what I was looking for on that Gartley pattern in the dollar index. And unfortunately, I can't check the times right now, and we'll see, uh, see what's going on uh, with that. Uh, 96. Oh, wow. It went way above it. See, it went way. Let's see how much. Let's get that up there and see where it went to, because that that was really a big move. 97 
Wow, it, it went back and made a uh, made a higher high, folks, than we did in uh, February. So it really blasted through there uh, and made a double top up in here, possibly 97.60. No, that uh, that's more getting ready to make that 97.94 ABCD because that one gapped up and just kept on running, which means which means that the euro was probably getting trashed because we were looking at that and there was no way I was getting ready to buy the euro, given the fact that it had come down so hard. And I said, last support was right there at 112. And uh, I, I, didn't even, I didn't even do anything with that because I was doing so many other things. I couldn't do it all. But uh, I imagine the euro is broken down below, one, uh, below 112 substantially now. So those are some of the ones. The thing about the patterns, folks, is they're really good for two things. They give you a really edge, and they also tell you when you're wrong. And that's really what you're trying to do here is to get on the right side of that card. Hey, 877-927-6648. Let's stay tuned for Jeff Huge, hopefully. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be dfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. I believe we have Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, on the line. Jeff, are you there? I am here, Larry. How are you? Well, I'm in good shape, my friend. I hope you are, too. We've got two questions right off the bat. 
And uh, the first question is, given what's happened in the Ukraine, uh, has that changed your stance uh, as being uh, b bullish or is, is, that still the, is that still the same? He'd like to know that. Yeah, absolutely. So as you recall, my last uh, presentation, I discussed a binary outcome, right? Bullish yes. above 4,700, bearish below 4,300. Yesterday, we closed below S&P 4,300 for the first time since July 19th. That is very significant. And as a result, we have changed our tactical position from neutral to bearish on the S&P 500. Okay, that makes sense. And the next one uh, was a rather lengthy one, but uh, I think you've got it covered here. And that was a gentleman, was because he's a big follower of yours, he would like to know uh, what you're looking at as far as your Elliott wave count, because yeah. uh, you happen to be an, a, an aficionado of that area. And so uh, that was, if you want to continue with that, that would really be great. Absolutely. So, um, you know, I've, I've pub Put out a chart here today where we are effectively upgrading, and, and this won't be official until March 1st. We use month-end data uh, to make these decisions, but our preferred Elliott Wave count is likely to go to the alternate. Uh, so we're upgrading the alternate or the bear case. Uh, what this bear case effectively suggests is that you know we put in a cycle wave five top, uh, which is potentially super cycle wave three top. And as a result, uh, we expect a minimum of a 61.8% retracement of the entirety of the 2009 to 2022 bull market advance, which wow. in effect is cycle wave five. And so that should bring us down to around 2,250 on the S&P 500 over the next several years. Uh, okay. This will happen in, in likely three waves. And we are very early in the first of those three waves, uh, oh. which is A. And so okay. um, this could potentially be part of a much larger pattern that takes us substantially lower. And that's kind of the ugly scenario that I once upon a time discussed with you guys. Yes, you sure did. Now, the other question this same gentleman had is, uh, given where we are right now, he, he asked the question, what would be your probability that you're correct on this? Do you give it a, a scale between, say, one and ten? How would you how would you rank it? That's what, what his question was. Well, I, I would say that you know um, I'm pretty confident that the break below 4,300 opens up a case for an immediate decline to 3,800 on the S&P 500. And if that okay. plays out as expected, straight down to 3,800, then that'll be intermediate wave three of A. And that would be a, a pretty strong uh, conviction on that, uh, that pattern. Now, you know, we have a death cross uh, that just occurred uh, this week. So, you know, the 10-week the moving average crossed below the 40-week. Some people will say the 50 below the 200. Sometimes that works. Um, the other thing I would tell you is that, uh, and your, your, your readers might know or your, your um, viewers might know, that in 1929 and also in 1987, the market crashed exactly 55 calendar days after the top. And if you look to um, S&P 548.18, the intraday top was January 4th. If we count 55 days into the future, we get to uh, February 28th, okay? Uh, now, the closing high was actually January 3rd, and the Dow topped on January 5th. So we've got these three days, the 3rd through the 5th, where we can count using the day of the high is day one through day 55, which would get us to uh, either Friday tomorrow uh, or Monday or Tuesday of next week. And I would also point out that Tuesday of next week uh, is the day before a new moon. And so it, oftentimes the lunar cycle will mark a high or a low in the market. My guess would be it would be marking a low. Uh, so we could be looking at, you know, a fairly uh, pronounced decline early next week, uh, something on order of a crash of 87 or crash of 29-like event if, you know, that 55-day cycle uh, that we've seen from, you know, epic tops like the one that we've just experienced, you know, holds true. So, you know, not a prediction, just kind of an observation that, that people should be 
uh, aware of. And that, you know, adds a lot of um, validity to the bear case, which is now our preferred Elliott wave count. Yes, I posted that chart about your super cycle wave three top. So that was uh, pretty much spot on. So, gosh, you've done a, a terrific job here with these charts. I mean, the folks just really love to see these because uh, they're so uh, elegantly prepared. So I really thank you for being as our guest today. Now, the next one we have here is uh, we've got a break coming up here in a few minutes. But this is the one that I, I don't understand because I don't do stocks at all. But some of our listeners would like to hear this, and that's where you look at your difference between your value stocks and your uh, other stocks. Can you explain to me what that is, is on that chart, the uh, sure. value versus growth? Yeah, what we're doing is we're looking at two indexes. Uh, these are ETFs, so it's very easy to put the trade on if you want. Uh, RPV is the symbol for the Invesco S&P 500 Pure Value ETF, which is like 130 value stocks. And then the RPG is the Invesco S&P 500 Pure Growth ETF, and that's like 53 growth stocks, you know, the, the names like Apple and Google and things like that. And so uh -huh. if you just take the ratio, long value, short growth, basically, um, we're looking at the chart uh, right in front of us where, you know, this, this ratio is now breaking out to the upside. Uh, it's broken through uh, moving average resistance, trend resistance, chart resistance, momentum has made a new 15-year uh, high. And um, to me, this is really indicative of a massive change in the underlying uh, structure of what's moving the market. And so we're seeing a rotation out of growth and into value. Value names include energy, basic materials, some financials like insurance companies for the most part right now. Um, and then um, within industrials, Transportations have picked up some steam recently, and also uh, we're seeing a lot going on in aerospace and defense uh, for obvious reasons. And so, you know, those would be areas that I'd really begin to focus my attention on. Uh, within basic materials, we're starting to see a lot of evidence of, of um, relative strength emerging from some of the industrial metals companies, as well as some of the precious metals miners. And we've seen uh, chemicals uh, leading as well. So, you know, all these various areas within um, materials are starting to, to show some relative strength and leadership. And so, you know, for long uh, value names that are leading and short growth names that are lagging, we should be able to make profit, right, without having any net market exposure. And this chart actually forecasts upside potential of upwards of 1,500 basis points of absolute return being long short this ratio. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good stuff. I have to take a break, Jeff. Stay with us. We'll be right back for a short segment, okay, my friend? Absolutely. We'll be right back with Jeff Hughes, folks, Alpha Insights. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back and we're talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and I believe he wants to talk to us about that shiny yellow metal that we love, gold. What do you think here, my friend? We've titled this uh, chart The Rise of the Barbarous Relic, and, you know, my view is that, you know, the breakout that we've seen uh, above 1873, which helped take out that trend resistance level and really, you know, resolve this triangle formation that we've uh, outlined here to the upside. Uh, looks like it has the potential to rally the gold to around, you know, the mid 2100s initially. Um, you know, actually, we tagged the 1975 level in the uh, futures contract today, the April future. And that actually takes out all the resistance up to 1950, which really clears the way for an immediate move to 2007 then 2163. But I think ultimately gold's on its way to 2500. And I think this could be one of the best places to hide uh, over the course of, say, um, you know, the next, the next two years. And so, you know, as this inflationary environment kind of plays out and we get, you know, more uh, understanding of how the Fed is going to respond and what the implications for war in Eastern Europe are for uh, energy to Europe and, and global oil supply. Um, you know, these are all imponderable questions right now. And gold is really kind of the insurance policy for all of that. Um, you know, you might want to play the crude oil as well. You know, crude tagged uh, $100 a barrel today. We've actually got a published target of $147. So, you know, we think there's almost 50% upside in the oil. Uh, and the gold really looks good from these current levels. We're looking for something like 25% upside here. And so, you know, commodities are going to be the place to be. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, they're rocking and rolling, boy. We'd up so much. I mean, I, that even scares me, and I'm fearless. Hey, Jeff, I uh, put a chart up here of how the folks can reach you. You want to tell the folks a little bit more, those that are listening in their cars might want to be able to uh, think about this or write it down. How do they, what's the best way to reach you? Sure. You know, it's easiest to get in touch with me through my website, which is jwhinvestment.com, or you can follow me on Twitter at alpha underscore insights and just reach out that way. Um, let me just say that I, I publish a um, two services. I've got a, a free newsletter called Huge Insights that I publish once a month, and you can pay like $10 a month to uh, join the membership, and then you get a free idea every week. And then I also have an institutional service called Alpha Insights, uh, where we publish every single week uh, a detailed 30-page you know, chart deck with all of our thinking and all of our ideas. And then once a month, we publish a 100-page 
global market analysis piece, which is highly comprehensive and uh, you know widely followed by institutional investors around the world. So if you're interested in either one of those publications, go to my website, reach out, and I'll help you figure out how to uh, uh, get involved. Oh, that's really great, Jeff. Thank you so much. We'll have you on again in a few weeks. Hopefully, we'll be at uh, some of these levels that we've been talking about. But uh, be a great job, and thanks again for joining us, folks. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, uh, first-class guy. And not only that, he really knows what he's talking about. So thanks for joining us, buddy. We really do appreciate it. My pleasure, Larry. Have a great one. You bet. You bet. Thank you. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. And okay, we've got a little bit more time here to cover uh, a couple things I wanted to bring to your attention. Jeff mentioned it once, but one of our listeners was kind enough to send me this chart here uh, showing you. Hold on, let's get this up here so we can see it. This shows you the lunar cycles. Uh, the lunar cycles in the gold market going back over the last six months. And as you can see here, these have been, other than one, they've been pretty much spot on. I mean, that one in the middle of, uh, of uh, October didn't work very well, but you know, the uh, eight out of 10 were pretty much spot on. And of course, we have our man, Mr. Norman, who calls it to the minute Winsky, helps us with that. And we'll have Norm on the next time we get ready for a full moon. And he'll probably ask to be on on Monday, would be my guess. So remember what Jeff said, the relationships that are following the line right now says that the th the hardest down days are going to be Thursday, Friday, and Monday. If this is following along with the what happened in 1929, and I don't know, you know, I wasn't around in 1929, but I can see the numbers. Shane has validated the astrology is pretty much the that that pattern that it's falling. The only thing that would change is if the S and P can get above 4,400, then this would certainly be uh, this would not work. But right now, it's following exactly what it should be doing, and uh, that's basically it. The second question someone asked me is on this gold here. We were talking about it, you know, up at that 477 level, and uh, if you'll uh, look at it now, folks, we're now down $50. And if you're looking for a good place to buy gold, 825 looks half, 1925 doesn't look half bad because you only have to risk about $10 from that point. If you buy it at 877, you're sitting with a $5,000 loss. And let me tell you, folks, that's not a warm and cushy feeling. So it's better to buy them when they're crying and sell them when they're yelling. That's the main thing you want to try to do. It's it's important to remember that. And we're going to, if you remember, since I've been on this show, which has been the last 15 years, I've been saying get ready for volatility. Especially in 2018, I started talking about the volatility when the VIX was down there around 10. And I said, this is going to get really wild, folks. And, and you're already starting to see it. But the good part is it's validating these numbers that we talk about. And uh, that's the that's the main thing. I, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, someone asked a question, uh, I'll, I, and I, I don't know how to, how to answer it. And that was, do I look at other aspects that are occurring in the market? No, folks, I don't. I do little. Uh, I do. Well, I watch A, B, C, D patterns. That's what brought me to the promised land. That's taking me to the promised land, and I'm sticking with it. I mean, it really works. That floor trader's handbook secretly tells how the markets work. It's exact work of Benoit Mandelbrot on fractals, and you can see ABCD, which was his seed pattern, is everywhere. Two-minute charts, 10-minute charts, daily charts, weekly charts, doesn't make any difference. Do they work all the time? Absolutely not, but nothing else does either. You know that? So that's it. That, that By the way, that chart came from uh, uh, one of our listeners, Jeremy, uh, out of, I think he's in Texas. I'm not sure. He's a, he does a lot of work. But uh, it's a really beautiful chart on the, on the gold. So we, we should pay attention to that because uh, it's been following along. And that means we're going to have a pretty big day uh, to look at a, a swing in gold right around the, the, next, uh, the next new moon, which I believe comes up in a week. Uh, I, I, I lose track of it. I think it's Monday or Tuesday. But that's pretty much it. Uh, we were supposed to get snow here last night. It got down to be about 30 degrees, and our high today is only going to be about 52, so we had a big cold snap, much like we're seeing in the rest of the world, but it's not as bad as what's in the rest of the world, so that's the main thing. Jeremy's from Chicago. That's right. I just remembered that. Thank you for reminding me, Billy. And let's see, one other chart that I wanted to uh, – I've covered that, the euro. Ah, I did, I did cover the euro. I wanted to do – I did the wheat chart. 
I've covered them all. Hey, that's good. I did. Every, oh, one I did want to cover. And that's the one that we're watching here. Uh, this is the same thing that what Jeff talked about. This is the uh, S&P chart. As you can see here, we're looking for it to get, come down into 55 calendar days, which runs around March 2nd or 4th. And we'll see if that continues to uh, play out as we think. So we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I want to make a correction, and that is that the crude oil has only broken $5 from the high. It didn't break uh, $7 that I originally bespoke. I was looking at Brent uh, crude, and I, was sh I should have been watching WTI West Texas crude. I want to bring the chart up of the wheat. I just I think I just posted it, but let me do it again here. Wheat is still limit bid, folks. Uh, up here at this 93.4, it's limit up, and it's been limit up other than when that little break right after the, the Chicago opened, it's still higher. Uh, wheat is very, very, it, it's the breadbasket of Europe where, the, where they're talking about there in the, Kermi, in the uh, uh, Ukraine, and uh, wheat is very, very important, folks. I mean, we, we're going, without a doubt, we're going to see somewhere around $10 wheat, and we haven't, I don't think we've seen that since the Babylonians. So this is really important. Get ready to pay more price for your food uh, in the coming year. And for God's sake, if pray that we don't have a drought uh, this year uh, like they're having in South America right now. 
if that happens to come up this way, we're going to have really, we're going to have to plant everything that's available, folks, and hope that it comes in. But uh, as we know, hope is a very bad word for trading and also in farming. So we got to remember, prepare yourself for this. We're looking for really good places to try to get in some of these without risking an arm and a leg. And they'll give you plenty. Of Look at beans, folks. They dropped over a dollar a bushel today with wheat lock limit up and, and corn up uh, quite a bit. I don't, I, I don't remember if corn was still off the limit, but it, 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 the wheat certainly was. So we've got to remember that. Now, tomorrow, our guest, guest is all-star charts, all-star himself, J.C. Parrots. Boy, listen to that young man, folks. He is the Pete Rose in the coming years. You're going to be hearing a lot about him. He's only, I think he's 30 years old, and boy, he's certainly, oh my goodness, that young man has studied so much, and he's got a lot of stuff to talk about. So we'll have him on at the top of the hour here on Friday, because we've got more and more things happening, and I think... Uh, uh, he'll be a, an added attraction to our guest here. And then the following week, uh, we're going to have uh, Tim Bost on and uh, also Stan Harley. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye.